You're asking me about a Cockney accent? Did you know that Cockney used to be a pejorative term for the working class? Yeah. Nonsense. It's the accent of a true Londoner. Who's a true Londoner? If you're thinking of that guy in Mary Poppins, nonsense. That is an American imposter. He is not British. He is not a real Londoner. Now, if you're thinking of Michael Caine, he is a true Londoner. He's a Cockney and he's a legend. But how do you speak like a Cockney, you ask? Well, my son, there are a few rules to follow if you want to sound like a true Londoner. First one is that schwa sound my good friend Ali taught ya. That's the ah uh sound. With a Cockney accent, it's more pronounced. Regular person might say doctor, but a Cockney says it doctor. Same as in stronger, faster, harder, stronger, faster, harder. That brings us to our next point. H's, don't need them. Get rid of them. Any word that begins with an H sound, get rid of that H. Don't need your H, never have. You're useless. Words like who, have, house. We don't use the H's. Get rid of them. Who, have, house. For example, who are you? Doctor who? That's his house. How much for him? That doggy in the window. Remember my good friend Ali's lessons? You learn the L sound can sometimes sound like a W. L to L. For example, in these words, hell, should be pronounced in a Cockney accent like hell. Ill, ill, pill, should become pill. And fill, fill. Another thing, my good friend Ali made you a video about the glottal T. This is the T sound which is replaced by the sound in the middle of uh oh, the uh sound. Words like water should sound like water. Water. The T stops in the throat. Water. So none of this bottle of water, please. Nah, should be bottle of water. Remember to use the glottal T, the L that sounds like a W, and that big schwa sound. Bottle of water. Other words could include lighter. Can I have a lighter? I hate you. Oh, my head. It hurts. Don't know how much more I should tell you, mate. Can tell you this, though. There are two types of TH sounds in English. The voiced, which sounds like a V. They have a vibration in the throat. For example, in words like brother, bother, mother, father, clothes, leather. Those TH sounds will be replaced by a V sound. For example, brother, brother. Bother, bother, mother, mother, father, father, clothes, cloves, leather, leather. The other TH sound is unvoiced, and that sounds like th like in thank you, everything, nothing, Thursday, sympathetic, and they should be replaced by Fs. So, thank you, thank you. Thursday, Thursday, nothing, nothing, everything, everything, sympathetic, sympathetic. And in some words like the, them, that, we just don't say the TH sounds all the time. It's because, next thing to remember, sounds come from around the sides of the mouth. So for example, ow, should be more of an ow, around the sides of the mouth. Bloody cow! All sounds become like all. For example, talk should become like talk. Walk. Walk. Pork should become like pork. Words which have the I sound, we don't say them like I. We say them like I. For example, all right. Sounds like what? Right. Pie. Pie. Thigh. Thigh. Like, like, tight, tight. Also, us Cockneys, we prefer to say me instead of my. For example, my throat hurts. Probably wouldn't say that. Probably say me throat hurts. Notice again, my becomes me, th's become f sounds, throat. T's are replaced by glottal t's, and we don't use h's because who needs them? 
Also, a cockney is quite partial to double negatives and using the third person in reverse. For example, you want some money? I ain't got none. I ain't got none, mate. In third persons, we usually use them in reverse. For example, you wasn't even there. I weren't even talking to ya. Keep it under your hat, yeah? But we have our own words for things. For example, my missus means my girlfriend, my wife. Say someone's attractive, we say they're fit. Your missus is fit. To say the opposite, someone's ugly, they are a minger. You are a minger. That girl is a minger. Dosh, dough. You want to talk about money? You're talking about your dough, your dosh, mate. I ain't got no dosh. I ain't got no dough. Up the duff, that means you're pregnant. So your missus up the duff, mate. Us Cockneys like to check for understanding in a conversation by asking this question. Do you know what I mean? Or, know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Know what I mean? You want a test, bruv? See how Cockney you are? Look at these sentences. How would you as a Cockney say these? Maths? I can't be bothered, mate. Your brother's coming down for a cuppa. Everything's fine. I ain't got nothing on me. I think that's all I can tell you for now. I'm going to uh, see a man about an horse. Do you know what I mean?